Hi everyone and welcome to my slightly late February favourites video but I do have a good reason for this um, so I actually have already filmed this video yay but I say filmed in a loose loose term because I did talk to the camera but I did not press record which is probably the most vital part so um, take two and um, this is now a week later and we are now into March so I'm gonna have to film this and put it up very fast and um, and I thought that I was being so prepared and getting it done like a week or two ago and um, but alas no I didn't record it so yeah so let's get straight on into this um, I haven't actually done a favourites video I think I've actually only done one on my channel and to be honest with you I kind of fell a little bit out of love with favourites video sorry I'm just looking down here to double check that I am actually filming by him, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I fell a little bit of love with like favourites videos. I haven't really been watching them as much as I kind of used to do. Um, but this month I have seen some really good ones, so it's kind of inspired me to do to do my own favourites videos. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight on into it. So I have a trusty little notepad here. Um, that is new actually. Um, and I have all of my favourites here. Okay, so um, the first favourite I want to talk to you about is um, a store um, in general, um, which is H&M Home, which I just think they are literally knocking out of the park recently. Um, I've been buying a few bits kind of here and there for my flat and specifically for my bedroom, but I just wanted to show you the few things um, that I have bought from H&M Home um, that I've been absolutely loving. And I have wanted to buy more and um, they've just got so much so I'll definitely be going back in to buy some more things so here are some of the things that I have been picking up so I got I got this um dusty pink tray which I just absolutely love and I just been keeping this by the side of my bed and have like a hand cream and a candle and things like that on it and then like some earrings um not too much but I just I kind of like the idea of, of like a bed like a desk tidy just to keep things um looking quite quite tidy so this one was um 8.99 from H&M and then I also got um a set so I've only got one here but I've got two of these of this little mug um which is in like a white and a black speckled effect and this one was about 6.99 and then they also have a matching side plate to go which I might pick up as well but I just think that that's so pretty like it's quite unusual I haven't really seen well, I have seen things like this before, but definitely not at H&M prices. So I picked up these two, um, and then the last thing I got from H&M home, oh, I'm sitting on as well. So I got this um, kind of dusky pink velvet cushion that has stripes, um, vertical and kind of diagonal stripes, stripes on it as well. So H&M home, definitely, definitely a favourite this month. I'm going to go on to some beauty favourites that I have, um, with the first of which is this Clarins oil which I got about um, maybe a couple of months ago now actually. So this is the Clarins um, Lotus Face Treatment Oil um, and it is 100% pure plant extracts and it's for oily or combination skin which I generally have. Um, I have kind of oily, well I have combination skin but I also have acne prone skin as well and this has just been helping so much and um, I've been I just use it at night time I use a couple of drops of this with some rose hip oil and then just lather my face in it before I go to bed and um, the really nice thing about this as well is it has the best smell it smells like it smells just kind of like a spa so that's really nice it's really calming kind of at night time um, and I've really been enjoying this I think you can get two or three others in the same kind of collection but are, that are for like super dry skin and I think very oily skin I'm not too sure but I'll have a little look and leave um, all three of them in the description bar below but this is really really nice. My second um, beauty favourite is quite an obvious one like it's it's not a product that I've ever tried um, but it's definitely an old school product that I'm sure everybody has tried before so it's this it's the MAC M Studio Fix Compact um, and I have mine in the shade NW15. So I used to wear the Studio Fix foundation years and years and years ago um, but I wanted to give the powder a try just so I could kind of wear like a slightly um, less coverage foundation or like a BB cream and then just kind of top it up where I needed it with the 
um, with the powder and this is so nice it's so flawless and I thought I don't know in my head I thought it was going to be really like drying which not it's just kind of I don't use too much of it um, I have quite a lot on today for kind of filming so that I don't have a shiny shiny shine face um, but um, yeah really good really been enjoying this and um, yeah just quite a quite an old school favourite I feel like quite um, not necessarily brand new but um, an oldie but a goodie just while I'm on makeup as well um, this isn't necessarily a favourite because I literally just bought it yesterday but I just wanted to mention the lipstick that I'm wearing that actually I think is coming across just looking in my um, screen just there it's coming up across a little bit more brown than it actually is um, so this is the NYX new lip laundry and this is in the shade 06 just in case you were wondering I knew I had one more beauty favourite so my last beauty favourite um, this month is this Mark Hill curling wand um, which is just it's the one that comes with like the base of it so you can totally um, and it's the one that you can buy separate heads for it so this I think is the small um, smallest curler that you could get apart from they also do like a really really thin one that's for like corkscrew curls. I actually wanted to get the medium one originally but um, they only had this one in store and I wanted to try it straight away because I'm very impatient. So yeah so this is the curling wand that I've been using and I've actually only had one curling wand before and normally my hair just does not, it will stay curly for like five seconds and then it will totally drop out which is really annoying because I actually have quite naturally curly hair but I do blow dry and straighten it kind of most days um, but this is just so good and because it's not got like that clip thing that some curlers have it's so easy to use and um, I actually bought this because my friend Jess, um, shout out if you're watching Jess, um, my friend Jess had bought it and then I tried it and I was like instantly in love with it. Um, and it's actually really reasonable as well. I think the base is about £15 and the heads are about £12 to £13 if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I want to try a couple of the other heads. There's a couple of one that does like big barrels as well. So actually this is what I have um, curled my hair with today so you can see it just makes quite like a, I literally just did it so it will drop a little bit more than this um, but you can see it makes kind of like a um, like a loose wave it's not kind of too tight so this has been definitely um, such a good purchase for me Okay, next on I want to talk about some um, YouTube favourites. So I want to include kind of some channels that I've been watching because if you don't know, I'm an absolute YouTube junkie. I I'm constantly watching videos um, and I love 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 finding new channels so um, I want to include two kind of well one I've been one I've been watching for ages um, but it's definitely but sh her channel is definitely my favorite channel and is Lizzie Hadfield from Shot from the Streets and um, her content is just so good and it's so kind of original she doesn't do too many like tag but she doesn't do actually she doesn't do any like tag videos she does all original content and it's all kind of fashion based and she does some really good vlogs as well she does like a weekly vlog, vlog every week that is always a always a good moment when it comes into my subscription box so she has she is just brilliant she's from Manchester um, and her sense of style is just absolutely on point it's, it's brilliant so I would definitely urge you to check out her channel um, and a new channel that I've been watching actually that another friend of mine um, told me about is a channel called Sophia and Chinsia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sophia and Chinsia. And it's two girls, and um, they're about 18 years old, and they are honestly just hilarious. Like I feel like I have never seen a YouTube channel like this before. They're just so charismatic and they're just like it's just like watching your friends. Like when I watch it, I feel like I'm just like hanging around with friends, which I mean is probably the lamest thing ever for me to say but like they're just so funny and vlogs are amazing and they, they always do it together they always do the channel together but such a good 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 new channel that I would definitely recommend to go and watch so moving on to some fashion favorites um I have two let's see let's have a little look at the list here yeah I have two fashion favorites um this month so my my first fashion favorite actually is a pair of culottes God, I should have done them up before starting this video. Um, 
um, that I bought um, in London actually so when I put my vlog up I bought them in London when I was um, down there and it's just this beautiful pair of tailored culottes with a waste paper bag and like a sorry waste paper bag waist um, that ties at the top as well it's got beautiful pockets and it's just such nice just so, and it's just such nice quality and um, the material hangs really nicely because it's quite heavy um, and they just look they look so great with everything they look great with like a pair of jeans like I feel like they would look so cute with like a t-shirt like this and then just like a pair of bands or they would equally look great like dressed up actually with another um, pair of shoes that I'm going to show you in a second as well Um, I've worn these these on a night out I've worn them to work I've worn them like casually such a good investment piece and such a great staple for um my wardrobe so these have definitely been a favorite um this month i cannot get enough of them they have them on the cost website so i'll definitely link them below as well and the second fashion favorite is also a pair of trousers well it's a pair of jeans but it is um a pair of jeans that i have had for a couple of months now um and i am obsessed with them like i feel like before i bought these jeans i was well I was just wearing skinny jeans um for ages and then me and the rest of the world have obviously caught on to the fact that um skinny jeans are not the only thing that um exists out there and the straight leg is obviously very much um having a moment just now but for me the one thing about straight jeans is that they're just so comfortable I feel like I forgot that jeans could be comfortable so um I picked up this pair um from Gap just here and it is the Gap um, Vintage Straight so they're literally just um, as they say in the tin so they've got this kind of vintage wash on them they're kind of a lightish blue um, and then they just are straight straight down as well and then they hit kind of at the ankle they're not too high or not too short on me um, I got a waist 29 and I normally wear kind of like a size 10 to 12 but these are just great and they really just look good with so many things. It's really got me out of my black skinny jeans style rut which I'm ever grateful for. So they did online and if not um, they will have something very similar because Gap always do a pair of jeans like this and Gap as well they just are coming back on my radar they're just um they're just having a moment as well and um they're bringing out some great jeans there's a pair of cream like straight leg jeans that i am particularly looking at um just now so i think i'm gonna pick them up because because gap are always doing some sort of promotional code and um, that's a top tip if you have not signed up to the if you shop at gap and you haven't signed up to their mailing list you really really have to because i swear to God, they never don't have a discount code out that they're sending across and it's always like really, really decent as well. It's always like 30% or 40%. Um, so definitely do that if you are a fan of Gap. And even if you're not, try them out and you might become a fan. My last fashion favourite, um, I is a little bit of a cheat, but I got them about a week ago and I haven't actually worn them yet, but I just had to show you them because they're literally the coolest things ever. Um, and I am talking about these little beauties which are um, obviously some silver metallic um, pointy boots. These are actually from New Look. Last time I shopped in New Look but I've seen these doing the rounds on Instagram um, and they recently went into the sale so they were um, 39 reduced reduced to £14 which is just such a bargain um, and they're actually really nice quality as well that it's got a nice big chunky heel on it and um, it's not too high so they're definitely walkable um, and then they've got um, a zip at the side um, so they're easy to get in and out of and they are silver they're so cool um, I'm thinking I might actually do a video soon on how to kind of style these up or how I'm going to be wearing them and things like that so I'm not lie, I have one more fashion favourites to show you um, which comes in the form of statement earrings um, which are definitely having a bit of a moment as well um, I'm actually sporting these pair of gold ones today um, which are for which are from Mango I actually got these a little while ago so um, 
I don't think you're going to be able to get them but I'll link some very similar ones below um, but I also have a couple of pairs um, to show you as well which are these ones which are also from Mango as well I'll do kind of as close up as well because I don't think you're going to be able to see that um, but these are just some kind of gold hoop ones There's a, these are a bit more minimal they're not as kind of statement-y but um, for somebody who doesn't wear earrings normally these are definitely a statement um, and then I have a colourful pair which are these ones from H&M and they, I actually got these a little while ago, I got them a bit more of a holiday earring um, but I just think they're very pretty and I think that they look really nice um, with white, like a, just a kind of white shirt as well and like a red lip, um, very nice and a very nice pop of colour as well just if you're wearing a kind of more plain outfit. Next fa favourite that I have is not a fashion piece but it is technically worn so take from that what you will um, and it is these pair these very comfortable very very soft pair of Bowden pajamas um, which are like this they are a beautiful red and white stripe and then they have silver piping down the front um, and they come with the top and the bottom um, oh and they're just so soft I just want to put these on right now which you know I probably will do after I've filmed this video um, but these are as I said they're from Bowden um, and I think they were actually part of their kind of Christmas pyjama collection um, but they definitely still have them on the website in this print and also various other prints so um, I will link these down below but they are just so nice they're in the sale and they're such a bargain and they're such like a luxury pair of pyjamas but actually because they're in the sale now they're not super super expensive anymore I really love these and um, I definitely think I might pick up a second pair just because they are so so soft and Okay, and the last favourites that I have to tell you about are two TV and film favourites. Um, so the first of which is the film Hidden Figures, which honestly I, hadn't, I, and honestly I hadn't really heard much about it before I went to see it, but it was absolutely brilliant. Um, it's definitely my favourite of all of the Osc of all of the kind of Oscar season films that are out just now. Um, and I would definitely urge anybody to go and see it who was thinking about going to see it or even if you're not you should definitely just go and see it anyway because it's absolutely brilliant. Um, if you don't know anything about it it's about three um, black women who are working at NASA in the 1960s so it's about um, it's around about the time that NASA were um, get, getting ready to launch their first um, astronaut into space and it's honestly just so brilliant it's so inspiring and um, very very uplifting and a little it's quite emotional as well um, and the last favourite I have to tell you about is a TV programme which is definitely not a new TV programme in fact it is quite old now um, but it is the US office which I just think is the funniest thing ever I hadn't seen any of it at all um, before I recently started watching it um, it's got 10 seasons and currently I think I've just finished season 6 so I'm a good the good chunk of the way through it but um, I'm just going to be devastated when when it finishes because you know what it's like when you have a TV programme that you've been watching for so long um, and it's like mass depression when it finishes because you're like what did I do with all my time before this so um, any suggestions for other TV programmes would be more than welcome. I'm actually also watching Parts and Recreation just now. Yeah, it's so funny. Um, the characters are so good. I am literally obsessed with Jim and Pam, which I'm sure everybody is as well who watches The Office. Um, and yeah, just a really, really good programme and um, very funny. And I can't believe it's taken me this long to watch it. Well, I mean, what have I been doing with my life so far? But yeah, so I think that is all of my favourites. Um, now, let me just confer the list. Um, yes, I think that is everything I have to tell you about that I've been loving throughout the month of January um, and we're obviously well into March now so hopefully I'll get some good March favourites to show to tell you about um, but for now thank you so much for watching my video again and I will see you very soon. Bye!